Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for y'all today. So this topic was requested. I don't remember by who, um, but I think it was on my last video that I uploaded, which was the five-year future prediction reading. Um, basically, what they wanted was a reading about um, what your first meeting with your person of interest or your future love interest is going to be like. So, this is really going to be geared more towards those of you who are single and, you know, don't really have anybody that you've got your eye on right now. What your first meeting with your future um, partner or future love interest is going to be like. Or if you do have someone and you're in like a long distance situation and you haven't had a chance to meet that person yet face to face, um, this is this can also be about what that first physical meeting is going to be like, okay? So um, those are the types of situations that this is going to be geared towards more, um, just so you know. We've got four options to choose from. For group one, we have selenite. For group two, we've got citrine. For group three, we have green aventurine. And group four is rose quartz. So I will give you guys a moment to make your choices. And while you're doing that, I do want to say really quickly, um, I have lately been pretty swamped with personal readings. Um, as of right now, they are open. However, lately I've been, like I've had orders for them open for like a week or so and then, ha and then had them closed for a little while um, just because I've, I've had so many and I need some time to like catch up because if I just leave them open, you know, for weeks at a time, I, I end up with like dozens and dozens of orders and it's <laughs> very overwhelming. Um, and I can only do so many readings in a day and that's really why I haven't been uploading here a whole lot um, because I've just been busy. I'm not complaining. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, I really do appreciate all of you who have gotten personal readings from me, and if you would like to get one, um, I do have them open right now. Like I said, um, if you ever go to my Etsy store and it's closed or my readings are sold out, um, just come back in a few days, and more than likely they will be back. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah. So let's just get started, you guys. We are going to start off with selenite. Bam. Okay. Group one, what's your first meeting with your person of interest or future love interest going to be like? We're going to start off with some lover's oracle cards. We have forgiveness and we have, interesting, okay. So the first card we have here is forgiveness. It says, stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And we also have, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So this is an interesting way to start off. Um, right away, I get this impression like, For most of you, I feel this is going to be a situation where you're going to know this person like before you actually meet them face to face. So like I was talking about at the start, possibly a long distance thing like an online um, connection or something like that. But it doesn't necessarily have to be. That's just the first like first impression I get right off the bat. Um, Whatever the case, I feel like there's going to be an instant connection between the two of you. Like, instant attraction, physical chemistry, like a pull, like magnetism. Three of Wands, 
Yeah! Oh my gosh. Two of Swords. The World. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so The World, again, this is another card that talks about, like, well, this is a card that talks about movement, uh, travel, physical, you know, distance. So, like I was, like I just mentioned, I feel a lot of you, this is going to start out as a an online thing, a long distance thing. Um, the Three of Wands does have this energy of waiting to it, and you know, the Wands cards overall have a very active energy to them, you know, so this particular card really represents to me like something that's just waiting to happen, okay? Um, so whether you meet this person online or talk to this person over the phone or whatever first, um, I feel as though when you do meet them face to face, it's gonna be this feeling of like, yes, this is what I've been waiting for. This is what I have been waiting for. <laughs> and it's gonna be like, finally, finally things are falling into place. Finally things are going to start moving. Finally things are starting to move. That's a lovely energy, guys. And like I said, it's it, I, I'm getting it's gonna be like an instant attraction, an instant pull towards each other. You know, uh, the the phrase "love at first sight" is a little bit I don't know, like Disney, uh, Disney esque to me. Um, however, I do feel like it's gonna be something kind of like that. Maybe not love at first sight, but definitely interest, definitely attraction, okay, at first sight. I'm sorry about this glare on these cards. Let me move these down here a little bit. That's better. Um, so, okay, let me pull some more cards here. Page of Wands. This is excitement and enthusiasm. This is playfulness. This is an energy of like, okay, whoa, it's too many cards. There's the Five of Pentacles. And let me get one more for right now. King of Cups. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, um, Page of Wands, like I said, this is excitement, enthusiasm, optimism. This is like something that has so much potential and you can feel it. Okay, you can feel that potential and you can feel that excitement and that fire and that passion. Um, King of Cups, this is emotional maturity. This is unconditional love. This is really strong bonds between people. I feel as though when you meet this person face to face, whether you know them already or not, you're going to feel like an instant bond with this person. Um, so, you know, love at first sight might be a little bit too uh, dramatic a phrase, but... Um, I'm definitely getting like attachment at first sight, okay? Like this is somebody that you are going to want to get to know. This is somebody that you're going to want to be close to. This is like um Oh my gosh. I'm I'm getting like um <laughs> like a lot of physical contact just kind of like right off the bat. Five of Pentacles kind of talks about like uncertainty and loneliness and abandonment and that kind of thing typically. Um, in this particular context though, you know, I, I read intuitively as well as um, reading based on the traditional meanings of the card cards. So in, in this particular context, the Five of Pentacles here is talking to me about how like it's going to feel as though you have been found or you have, yeah, like you were lost and now you've been found. Um, you have found the person that is going to make you feel safe and feel understood and wanted more than possibly anybody else you've ever met. Um, and that's, that's lovely. That's so lovely. Um, okay. Let me pull out some of these cards. I also feel as though um, 
this connection in general is going to be very kind of um kind of healing for you guys with the forgiveness card here um it says stop focusing your energy on past events i think that when you meet this person face to face there's gonna be if if you have any other person that you have been maybe having trouble getting off your mind so like for example if you have an ex or you have somebody that never really got an opportunity to even be an ex that's been on your mind a lot i think when you meet this person that memory of that other person is just going to vanish i feel like this person's going to help you move on from relationships or even just situations in general that have kind of been holding you back that you've had trouble moving forward from okay and so like as far as that goes in regards to like this first meeting context i think once you see this person once you start talking to this person like they're all you're going to be able to think about <laughs> like i don't know that you're going to be plagued by memories of anyone else or anything else for as long as you know them for as long as you have them in your life <laughs> um we've got to go the distance here this card talks about perseverance it talks about resilience and you know making the effort i'm seeing you guys like spending a lot of time together even during your first meeting so i think that you're going to meet I'm seeing you meeting like in a relatively public place, maybe at some kind of event or whatever the case, I'm seeing you guys like spending several hours together, maybe even an entire day together, just like doing different things, maybe going place to place, like getting food, like seeing a movie, something like that. Um, just spending time outdoors, more than likely outdoors, um, driving around, I'm also getting water and we do have message in a bottle popping up here which has water on the card um, this card also talks about communication and like receiving messages so I'm getting that communication between the two of you is just gonna kind of be instantly good um, I feel like you're gonna you're going to feel as though you can tell this person pretty much anything and they're going to feel that way towards you. Um, and like I mentioned, I, I see you guys doing a lot of things together, like in this initial meeting, possibly spending the whole day together, especially doing things like outdoors for a lot of you and a large portion of you I'm seeing like spending time by the water or on the water or something like that. Um, and that's kind of confirmed by this card having, you know, water in the, uh, the image here. Um, we also have clean it up in the reverse. Clean it up in the reverse. Um, in the upright position, this card talks about, like, doing away with anything and everything that is not serving you. It's really kind of like the spring cleaning card, spring cleaning your life. Um, in the reverse, it has to do particularly with avoiding unnecessary conflicts, unnecessary drama, particularly other people's conflicts and drama. So this is really about like not involving yourself in other people's problems, um, keeping yourself out of conflicts that don't necessarily have anything to do with you. So with this coming up here, I'm getting that okay this is <laughs> this is interesting I'm, I'm seeing you guys like telling each other a lot of stories about your yourselves about your lives about your past um can you see the lines on this card i ran over it with my office chair one time anyway so i'm seeing this as you guys telling each other stories about your lives like your childhoods your past you know uh, you, like one time my brother did this really stupid crazy thing and it was hilarious like that kind of thing um, just sort of reminiscing together and like you know reminiscing has this implication like everybody involved experienced the same thing and you're kind of looking back on it fondly even though this is gonna be the first time meeting each other I'm, I feel like you're going to feel as though you are reliving memories together does that make sense? Like you were there when 
the initial event happened. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, so that's lovely. I love this. I love this, guys. I'm going to get some of these cards as well and see if there's anything else that they want to add. We have finances and career. And we have past life relationship. Yeah, I feel like you okay, you're going to you're going to feel like you've already known this person. And whether you really do already know them like I know I keep I keep mentioning this, but some of you I really do feel like you will know this person already. It will start out as a long distance relationship and then you will have the, the opportunity to meet face to face. But even if that's not the case, whether it is or it isn't, I feel as though once you are in this person's presence, it's going to feel like you've known them forever. Forever. It's just going to feel so natural and so right being in physical proximity to each other. And I do see there being a lot of touching. Um, not necessarily like touchy-feely handsiness, um, but just like being physically close to each other and like just having some degree of physical contact so like holding hands or just like sitting close enough to each other that your shoulders touch or something like that um hugs maybe some smooches um probably for most of you um and the finances and career card this card really talks to me about like just the mundane aspects of life so you know your home your finances um, your work, of course, um, chores, errands, things like that. I feel as though you're going to be able to, I don't know, you guys might go run errands together or something, which might not seem, might not sound exciting for a lot of you, but to be honest, I love running errands with people, like my friends and whatnot. I just think it's fun. I just love, I don't care really what we do, as long as I get to spend time with people that I care about like that's all that matters so you know to me like going to the grocery store with my friends is a fun a fun day um i know not everybody thinks that way but i i'm one of those people i i'm i'm down to just do whatever um so that might be the type of uh dynamic that you develop like just right off the bat but this card also kind of talks to me about like you guys just kind of okay it's like a feeling of everything just sort of falling into place like this person just kind of neatly falling into place in your in your life in your everyday reality and vice versa does that make sense so kind of going back to what this card was talking about about how it's gonna feel as though you've known this person forever I think it's gonna feel like okay, my life is kind of complete at this point, or it feels more complete than it did. It's going to kind of feel as though this person has been part of your everyday reality already. Know what I'm saying? So, um, that's really adorable, and I love that, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. That is what I'm getting as far as what your first meeting with your future love interest or your current love interest or whatever um, is going to be like. I hope this resonated with you and I hope you enjoyed. This was just a fun kind of quick little peek into the um, potential future of this connection or future connection. So thank you so much for joining me guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye! Okay, so Moving on to group two, we've got Citrine. So I'm going to do probably the same thing as last time. I'm going to start with this deck. I'm going to just pull a couple of cards from here. What is group two's first meeting with their person or future love interest going to be like? We have new beginning and we have deep in your heart you already know the answer. Do what feels right. 
Okay. All right. So right away, the message that I get from these cards is when you meet this person, I think you're going to intuitively just know, just have this feeling like this is somebody who's going to play a very important role in your life. I do see that from the majority of you, this is going to be this is going to be like a brand new thing. Like you're not going to know this person prior. Um, your first meeting, your first physical meeting with this person is going to be your first meeting period. Um, so there's not going to be, for most of you anyway, I don't see there being a any other type of connection prior, like any other type of communication like online or over the phone prior. Um, I feel like this is going to be a, a totally new thing for you guys and when you meet this person you're going to intuitively know that there's something significant about this it's going to be important to you and there's going to be this feeling like your life is about to change you're going to you're you're about to enter into a new phase a new chapter of your life i think you're just going to have that feeling you're just going to know like this person here this person right here is gonna fuck up my whole life but in a good way okay um let's get some tarot cards now we've got the king of swords the nine of coins page of swords nine of swords two of swords two of cups wow we got a lot of swords here um so this person could be an air sign or you, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but zodiac signs are kind of irrelevant to me personally. That's why I don't talk about them a lot. But anyway, um, somebody in this equation might just be really like a thinker, a real observer, or a very good communicator as well. I do see there being a lot of communication between the two of you during your initial meeting with the King of Swords and the Page of Swords. Um, I feel like when you meet this person, possibly before you actually stand face to face and say something to each other, one or the other of you is gonna be watching the other person. Okay, the Page of Swords is kind of like that creeper energy. Um, in this case though, you know, it, I, I just see this as like them kind of like watching you from a distance or you watching them from a distance before you actually approach one another um, to talk or introduce yourselves or whatever. I do see there being a lot of anxiety, so you might catch a glimpse of this person before they see you, or you might be kind of watching each other from afar, um, kind of like waiting for the other person to make a move, kind of like, oh my god, are they going to come over here or do I should I go over there? I don't know what to do. You might have a friend or something with you and be like, what do I do? I'm, <laughs> I'm, that person over there is like super hot and I want to talk to them or whatever, but I'm scared. Um, I see that being a bit of a problem. However, I do think that, and that, that might also be what the Two of Swords is talking about. You know, this is indecision. This is like being locked in a stalemate. I do see your first meeting being a little bit awkward for that reason. Um, you know, whether whether you're anxious about approaching them or anxious about being approached. Um, I, I do see there being some fumbling of words and like sweaty palms and that kind of thing going on, which is kind of adorable. Um, so uh, slightly awkward, but I do see that, um, I see you guys kind of moving past that relatively quickly, um, and moving into just a lot of communicating with each other. Um, so talking about like what's going on, um, I do see this being more in like a social setting so possibly a party some kind of event maybe like a wedding or a birthday party or a work related party even um or like a bar or a nightclub or something like that some type of some type of social 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 situation um 
could be some kind of like singles night thing with the nine of coins being here as well i'm not sure um but you know it's going to be different for all of you but i see you guys moving past that kind of awkward nerve awkward nervous stage relatively quickly and moving into just you know kind of just really chatting each other up talking about what's going on around you maybe like doing some people watching together kind of like oh my god look at that dude's Look at that dude's hair. That's fucking sickening, you know? Um, stuff like that. Nothing real, nothing real deep or intense, just kind of light, casual conversation, just kind of having a good time together. Um, and I do feel like, I feel like you're going to kind of intimidate each other a little bit too in the start, at the start, um, which may contribute to this nervousness uh, because the Nine of Coins talks about like, I see the Nine of Coins as someone who's very intelligent, very appealing, very attractive, confident, self-assured, independent. So you might see them that way and they might see you that way. So uh, I'm really seeing this as like you guys looking at each other from a distance and being like, you being like, oh my god, they look so cool and so like in control of everything and so in charge and, and I'm... I'm over here like a dork, I'm a loser, <laughs> but they're going to be thinking like the same thing about you. So <laughs> a little bit, um, oh my gosh, it's, it's almost a little bit like rom com -y. Uh, anyway, two of cups here. This card is partnership. This card is union, love, romance. Um, I kind of feel like... I see for a lot of you this happening at nighttime, later in the day, evening, nighttime. Um, and I, I want to say, like, by the end of the night, you guys are going to be all but a couple, basically. So I, I'm seeing you, like, exchanging numbers and, like, really just really feeling very comfortable with each other and like by the time you go home you're gonna be feeling like well I met my husband or I met my wife or whatever um and your friends might be like you're crazy or they might be like yeah I know I could tell <laughs> um but I just I'm, I'm feeling like instant like compatibility and like the more you talk, the more you're gonna realize that you have a lot in common. Okay, so um, let me pull out a couple of these cards as well. We have the tribe reversed. Whoa. And we have truth be told. So truth be told, this is another card that talks about communication and insight and clarity. Um, so lots of talking, just lots of chit chatting. Um, maybe, like I said, people watching, talking about the things that you're seeing. I'm not really, you know, for the for the first group, I was seeing a lot of like discussions or about like the past, telling stories about things. I don't really get that with this group. Um, I get more like just kind of being in the moment talking about stuff. Um, the tribe card reversed in the upright position. This card really talks about like soul family. It talks about feelings of belonging, that kind of thing. In the reverse position, it can kind of be an energy of feeling as though you don't quite belong, which is interesting. Um, it may be that at the start, like at the very, very start, kind of going back to that nine of coins energy, feeling like that person or the person in question is too good for you or isn't going to be interested in you because they look way too cool or like way like not your type this person might be quite different from what your usual type is actually however i think once you start talking to them and you get to know them a little bit and you get a feel really for their energy 
this energy is going to switch and it's going to be like, oh, I actually feel really comfortable around this person and I kind of feel like we fit together pretty well. We mesh, like we just gel pretty nicely. Um, let me pull out some of these cards. And I also think that you were going to feel as though you can tell them pretty much anything, which is nice. It's a nice feeling. Um, also, it's possible that you may be able to read this person quite well, or they may be able to be, may be able to read you quite well, um, or both. We have, this could be the one. Yep, 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 yep. We have release your ex and worth waiting for. So release your ex. This is talking to me about the release of expectations. Release your ex expectations. Um, anyway, <laughs> so this is kind of building on that message of this person may not be the type that you normally are interested in. Okay. And that might be a little bit off putting at first. However, like I said at the very start, I think once you do start to um, talk talk to this person and get to know them a little bit and feel out their energy, you're going to just, it. I, I feel like it's just going to strike you like this person is who I've been waiting for. This person is important. This person is going to play a big, big role in my life. Okay? And... You know, these cards are talking to me about just like intuitively knowing that, having that feeling. So even before you meet this person, like in the in the days or hours beforehand, you may have this feeling like something important is going to happen. You might feel led to go to this location where you're going to meet this person. Okay, so over the next few weeks or months, um, if you feel at any time like a an intuitive just pull to go to a particular place at a particular time you should do that because that might be when this person pops up because I feel like it will be relatively unexpected it will be a situation where you're not necessarily going to go into it expecting to meet your next partner or anything like that you know what I mean so um that's what I have as far as how your first meeting is going to go. I hope that that was interesting and insightful. I hope it resonated with you. Um, kind of like I said, I feel for the vast majority of you, this is going to be somebody who um, is going to be brand new to you. You know, I don't see this being like you meeting up with anybody that you've been talking to online or anything. Um, so if you were thinking about somebody that you already know but haven't physically met yet, then this probably wasn't the reading for you. Um, but, you know, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Um, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye! Alright, group three, uh, Green Aventurine. What is your first meeting with your person of interest going to be like? So let's start off with the Lover's Oracle. Let's get a couple cards from here for group three. What their first meeting with their person of interest or future love interest is going to be like. Okay, whoa. All right. So the first card we have here says, Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And we also have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So right away, I'm getting this energy of your initial meeting with this person may not quite meet your expectations. It may not go how you anticipated. Um, it may actually be a little bit disappointing to you. Um, but let's let's pull some, uh, some tarot cards and see if we can't get any clarification on what these cards are talking about. 
Six of Pentacles, we have Death. Two of Cups. of cups okay okay the world and let's get one more queen of wands all right so what I'm getting here is that when you first meet this person whether this is somebody that you make plans to meet up with face to face for the first time or if this is a brand new uh, interaction first ever interaction with this person I feel like you are going to immediately feel as though this is the person this is this is like a soulmate this is a this is an intense connection because we've got here the Two of Cups, we've got here the Queen of Cups, which talks about psychic connections, and the Two of Cups is a soulmate card. Um, we also have the World, which completion, this is cycles, this is accomplishment or achievement, this is an ending as well. Um, and Death, which talks about transformations, it, it also speaks of cycles. And we have two cards here that are talking about time. We have the actual time card, and we have the Six of Pentacles, which has a clock on it. So in this particular deck, this card does sometimes represent um, or indicate uh, divine timing or something related to time. So I feel as though this is going to be kind of a divinely guided or divinely timed uh, meeting. So first of all, it might take longer than anticipated for this meeting to actually happen. And what I mean by that, that's that's if uh, you are in a situation where you have a long distance connection going on and you're wanting to meet up, you know, face to face. Um, that meeting could be delayed. It could be delayed several times. Um, however, this is in, in the world card can represent long distance relationships as well because it has that association with travel right um so this could be something that is going to take a, a significant amount of time to pan out to really come together um so that could be a little bit frustrating for you that could be a little bit irritating as well however when you do finally meet this person, I think you're going to feel as though it was worth the wait, okay? Because I think you're going to feel an immediate um, connection with this person. Spiritual, psychic, mental, whatever. Um, and I think there's going to be just like an instant fondness. The Queen of Wands talks to me about wish fulfillment. This is kind of telling me that like, when you meet this person, it's going to feel as though your prayers or your wishes have been answered. Because I think this person's going to just like t tick off all of your boxes, you know, all of your standards, all of your requirements, all the things you look for in a partner. I feel like this person's going to have those things and it's going to be um, noticeable to you and it's going to feel right. And I'm just kind of seeing you guys like closing your eyes and saying to yourselves like this is what I've been waiting for this is what I've been waiting for all this time so even if you don't know this person beforehand you're still gonna feel that way like this is what I've been waiting for this is the person that I have waited my whole life to to meet to be with you know like this is this is it. This is um, this is my person, <laughs> right? And I kind of feel like 
it's going to be almost immediately obvious to you that your life is about to change when you do meet this person. I see you meeting each other under very mundane circumstances. So like just kind of possibly just kind of running into each other like at the store or something or like while running errands or just for some of you it may also be a friend of a friend or you know somebody that some kind of mutual acquaintance or something um, introduces you to each other. But again, I don't see it being really a planned thing necessarily. I see it just kind of spontaneously or seemingly, seemingly randomly happening. But I do see there being like an instant like, oh, Oh, this is, this is who I've been waiting for? This is who I've been waiting for all this time? Yeah, yeah, okay, I dig it. All right, all right. Um, my card fell on the floor. Okay, we've got regeneration. Regeneration talks about something kind of coming back to life. It talks about healing and renewal and restoration. So I'm getting an energy of like feeling restored by this person. Kind of like feeling, okay, feeling excited, feeling very optimistic. Kind of like, uh, I'm getting like this meeting is going to be kind of like an energy shot for you. And you're going to feel like not ready for it. Even though it's going to be like, okay, this is what I've been waiting for. It's also going to be kind of like, oh, but now that it's here, I don't know if I'm really ready. Because poised in the reverse talks about a lack of preparation. It talks about not being ready. It talks about not being poised. Um, but it's going to be exciting. It's going to be like, I feel like it's going to give you like a burst of energy and excitement. Like, oh my God, what's happening? I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I'm, ex I'm excited about it. And I see you getting, like, very giddy and very, um, cautious, okay? Very cautious, happy, happy in the reverse. This card in the reverse position still talks about happiness and contentment, but it's a little bit more reserved. It's a little bit cautious. It's kind of like, um not really it's it's like the energy of not wanting to get your hopes up too much but kind of struggling you know like okay this is something brand new i just met this person i don't want to i don't want to seem crazy i don't want to act crazy i don't want to start to um get my hopes up about this too much but i'm really excited about this and i feel good about this person okay so I really just see you being very kind of emotionally all over the place. Excited, but kind of anxious, kind of scared, like, ooh. Now that this is here, I don't know if I'm ready, but you will be. That's the thing, you will be. We've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations coming out here. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, and we have very soon, ooh, cool very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now this card is suggesting that for most of you this person is going to um come in pretty soon or this meeting is going to happen relatively soon um heart to heart conversations this is communication this is honesty and insight um i'm kind of seeing this as the two of you like having pretty deep discussions pretty deep conversations like getting to know each other on a pretty in-depth level um, relatively quickly. So, like, hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm just, I'm trying to I'm getting some visuals here and I'm trying to parse them out a little bit so just bear with me for a second. I'm seeing you guys like sitting like chilling on a bench somewhere with this person next to you and just talking about like 
philosophy or religion or spirituality like kind of intense topics just like like right away i mean not immediately after you meet each other but i do see you spending a fairly significant amount of time with this person once you do meet them so like maybe a couple of hours after your first meeting just kind of you know just just totally bypass the um the chit chat and just jump right into um the heavy stuff you know why not but i feel like it's gonna be it's gonna feel good it's gonna feel right you're not gonna feel anxious or scared about you know revealing your true thoughts about something to this person you know how you really feel about things what you really think um what your opinions are i think you're gonna feel like you can just sort of talk to this person about anything okay um My rats are making a ton of noise right now. So hopefully you can't hear that too much. <laughs> um, I feel like I need to pull out a couple more of these cards, actually. I don't see there being a lot of like physical contact right off the bat, like for um, group two, I believe. Group, groups one and two to some extent. Um, I was getting a lot of, like, like, touching, like, physical contact between them happening. I don't really see that happening for you guys, so you may not, you know, there may not really be a lot of physical closeness or physical intimacy right away, um, but I think that's going to be okay with you guys. We have here the Three of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Cups. Wheel of Fortune, this is, again, divine guidance, the divine timing, this is cycles. Um, I think, you know, it seems pretty clear to me that you will intuitively know, have this gut feeling like, okay, this is it. This is it. This is the person that I've been waiting for. This is the person that the universe has sent to me. Um, Three of Pentacles, this is kind of like, a, you guys just immediately like building a foundation, like laying down the groundwork for you guys to build a stronger, more substantial relationship upon. We also have here the Four of Cups. So, kind of similar to that initial energy that I was getting of, like, disappointment or, like, being a little bit dissatisfied with something, I feel like this is kind of talking about, okay, this is kind of talking to me about uncertainty. Like I mentioned, I feel as though you guys are going to be excited, but you're also going to be kind of questioning your own excitement, questioning... Um, am I projecting these feelings? You know, is this real or is this in my head? I don't want to get my hopes up too much. Kind of seeing you guys trying to like really make an effort to temper your emotional response to this person, to this meeting. And, but like what they want you to know is that you don't have to do that. You kind of have to just like trust your own gut feelings like if this feels right and you feel comfortable and you feel a, a a bond with this person a connection with this person right away then just trust that you know and you don't have to be afraid of just letting your walls down because this person is for you this is like a gift this person is going to be coming in like gift wrapped basically so seize the opportunity, you know, allow yourself to feel good. Allow yourself the joy and the happiness that this person is going to bring you. Okay, so I think some of you guys who picked this group may be a bit, um, you may have some self-esteem issues or you may have some feelings of like not being quite good enough or not deserving, but what they, what they want you to know is that you totally are deserving. You've, you've kind of earned this type of love. You've earned this love. So don't, don't resist it, okay? That's what they want you to know, guys. Um, and I know this wasn't super detailed about how, it's, how things are going to go down, um, but this was really more focused on how you're going to be feeling when this meeting happens and, you know, how, how you need to just kind of trust and, and let, your, let your intuition guide you in this situation. Okay, does that make sense? 
So thank you so much guys for um, joining me today. I hope this resonated with you and I hope you enjoyed. Um, take what applies to your situation. Take what, take what sounds right to you and leave the rest behind. These are just general readings. Uh, thank you again for watching. I hope I see you next time. Bye. Okay, so finally we have group four, which was the Rose Quartz. How is your first meeting with your person of interest or future uh, love interest going to go down? So um, just a word of warning, I do have a cough drop in my mouth right now because I've been talking all day and my throat hurts. And if I don't have this in my mouth, I'm not gonna be able to talk for much longer, so just a word of caution some people get like super pissed off when i'm making noises like when i <laughs> when i drink or when i have something in my mouth um i'm not sure why i guess i don't have anything better to uh complain about so anyway group four how is your first meeting going to go down so first of all we have the soulmate card your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. And we have the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So what I get right off the bat here is that I think when you meet this person, there's going to be this feeling of like immediate recognition that you've known this person before and that this person is going to create a new path for you or help to open up a new path for you in your life. Kind of like a feeling of things are not going to ever quite be the same. I'm getting that you, a lot of you, it seems, has have already met this person in spirit in some way. So maybe you've seen this person in dreams or during meditations or something like that. But I feel like you've already been connected in like a spiritual kind of sense. We have the Seven of Swords here. I feel as though you're going to be a little bit intimidated right off the bat because we've got temperance. Um, yeah, we have the moon, the two of wands. You may be reluctant to express yourself to this person or to really open up to this person. Um, let's get one more of these. Page of Cups. Okay. So with the, the, uh, the moon and the seven of swords, I feel like you might be kind of reluctant to really open up to this person when you meet them. You may be actually uh, kind of afraid to even talk to them. Um, because either, I don't know, you're shy or you have social anxiety or something about this person's energy is just going to feel intense to you and kind of intimidating, okay? Um, however, I do feel as though you already have some type of connection with this person. And for a lot of you, I feel like it's spiritual. Like you've met this person, you've encountered this person in the spiritual sense. So like I said, either through dreams or meditation or something like that, um, you've, you've connected with their higher self already. And the page of swords is kind of talking about that. You know, this card is sort of the watcher card. This talks to me about how you guys already kind of have a, you're already connected in the sense that you have seen each other before. And I do feel like there's, like I mentioned, there's going to be kind of an instant recognition, like either 
their appearance, you're going to recognize their physical appearance, or you're going to recognize their energy. It's going to be like an intuitive feeling like, oh, this, this person's energy feels so familiar to me. And I actually don't really see you guys talking a whole lot for your first meeting. Temperance talks about moderation, and it can also indicate like a need for patience, um, a waiting period. So of course I do see you having a little bit of communication, but not much. It, it may it might even just be, you know, a few words, okay? And the two of wands here, these two wands are running parallel to each other. You know, based on our perspective, eventually if they continued going, they would cross paths. But right now they're not. And so I really feel as though this first meeting is going to be kind of, I feel like it's going to be very brief, very fleeting, just kind of exchanging a few words and then going your separate ways, which is interesting because this is so unlike um, the other three readings that we've done today. I mean, I guess somebody had to be, <laughs> I guess somebody had to be different, but I really do see this as I think it's almost going to feel to you like like a missed connection in the sense that you're going to encounter this person you may exchange a few words with this person and then you're going to go your separate ways and you're going to be like shit I think that person was important, but I don't know how I'm ever going to see or talk to them again. So this card might actually talk about you um, kind of stalking this person a little bit, trying to find some information about them or trying to figure out who they are more specifically or something like that. Um, and also the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups. Pages both represent like something that has a lot of potential. And so I feel like your connection with this person, your relationship with this person is going to continue for a while as something that just has potential, that hasn't really had an opportunity to grow yet. And I just, I, it's interesting. So like you might meet this person at work. Like either if you work in a position where you interact with people a lot, you may meet them that way. Or if they have a job like that. Yeah, we have go the distance reversed here. In the upright position, this card is about, okay, yeah. In the upright position, um, oops, my bad. In the upright position, this card is about persistence, resilience, endurance. It's a very active card, and so is Yang in the upright. Yang in the upright is action, it's decision making, it's, you know, confidence. But these cards in the reverse position both have kind of opposite meanings. In the reverse, both of these cards are more about a pause, a period of pause, a period of rest really thinking something through before you take an action. Being forced to kind of, you know, hold off on taking action. So I'm seeing your first meeting with this person being kind of, like I said, pretty brief and not, not very fruitful. And I do feel like your connection to this person is going to be very minor for a long time. Maybe not a long time, but several weeks at least, maybe several months. You may not get an opportunity to really get to know this person. You may not even, you may not even know their name when this initial meeting happens.
but I feel like you're not going to be able to get them out of your head and you're going to continue to think about this person and kind of pine over this person for a while. And you might even be doing that already. For some of you, this could be someone that you already know of, like through whatever means, but you haven't actually spoken to them or had a face-to-face -face meeting with them. And even if it, that is the case, you know, your first real meeting with them is still going to be pretty brief. It's still going to be pretty minute. And it's still going to leave you, like, wanting more. Okay? Let me pull out some Romance Angel cards, lastly. We have Healing Family Issues. And, whoa. Codependency, stay optimistic about your love life. So with the codependency card, this is telling me that your first meeting with this person is really just going to be a very small taste that's going to leave you wanting more, okay? It's not going to leave you feeling satisfied. It's going to make you feel like, I need more of this person. I need to know who they are. I need to know more about them. I need to be around them more. But, you know, I don't really see you having an opportunity to do that for a while. Um... Healing family issues. Uh, this card to me talks about just healing more generally. I feel like your meeting with this person is going to kind of prompt you to do a lot of introspection, do some some uh, inner work on yourself. Because, like I said, I do feel that there's a very spiritual aspect to this connection. And, you know, Yang also represents the divine masculine energy. Um, and since the soulmate card is here as well, there's that kind of, uh, it's possible that this person could be a divine counterpart of yours. Um, and so I do feel like it's going to trigger a little bit of reflection for you. It, it may trigger you to start down, um, you know, a, a path of self-discovery, a path of, you know, discovering more about your spirituality, your divine nature. Um, that type of thing and stay optimistic this is kind of like building upon the codependency card um, your first meeting is just gonna be a little bit a little taste but it's gonna leave you wanting more and you're gonna be like I need more of this person I need to see this person again I need to figure out who they are I need to know their name I need to know where they where they're from and and like everything that there is to know about them and you might feel like a crazy person for feeling this way. However, I think you're going to know intuitively that it's right. That there is something more to it than just, you know, you being an obsessive, crazy person. <laughs> okay. Um, so I don't think that, you know, logically this, this um, attraction these feelings may seem irrational, but when you look at it from a spiritual standpoint, I, it, it makes it makes sense. It will make sense. Okay? And that's the perspective that you are, that you need to view this connection from. And I think that's going to be the angle that is going to help you to, I want to say, cope with it. Because it does seem to me like it's going to be kind of difficult. Because I do see this meeting being so brief and being so, you know, unsatisfying to you. Um, that it's, it's, it's just going to prompt, like, this longing feeling for this person. And you're going to have to, like, find ways to kind of deal with that, to cope with that, to um, move forward and without, you know, completely losing hope for this connection. Because I do feel like, you know, with the Two of Wands here, you will cross paths again, but it may take some time for that to happen. So, 
um, this is interesting. This is an interesting message um, for your first meeting with your person. Uh, so for the vast majority of you, you know, this is more than likely someone that you are not going to have any prior connection to. Like I said, some of you might know of this person already, but you haven't properly met them yet. Um, and if you do know of them, it seems unlikely to me that they know of you. Or if they do, they 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 don't they aren't thinking too much about it. Do you know what I'm saying? So I see your first meeting being a little bit tough, a little bit, you know, um, too short-lived for your tastes and kind of causing you to um, embark on a bit of an emotional and spiritual roller coaster. So I feel like it's probably going to be a fairly high-level soulmate situation, possibly even a twin flame situation. Um, and I know this is not... <laughs> this is not like a super positive reading compared to the others that we've done today, um, but I hope it still resonates with you, and I hope it still um, was interesting to listen to. Uh, take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. If anything that I said during this reading doesn't seem right or doesn't feel right to you, then, you know, just let it go. Um, that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I hope I see you next time. Bye.